To write on your desktop, open the Windows toggle button by clicking this here in your main toolbar. What this is going to do is it's going to hide your canvas and take you to your desktop where we already have a web page open. We're currently in mouse mode, so if we click or scroll, the mouse is going to behave like normal. But if we want to write or use other whiteboard tools, what we're going to want to do is click on that pen icon at the bottom of the floating toolbar. When you click on that, it'll turn on all your whiteboard tools, as well as disable clicking. Now I'm in pen mode, so if I want to write on this, what I need to do is choose the tool I want to use. So let's switch to a highlighter. And now when I draw on this paragraph, I'll get the highlighter tool. And even though it looks like I'm writing inside the website, I'm actually just writing on top of it. It is an overlay. So the cool thing about this is I can use other whiteboard tools as well, not just the pen. So for example, if I want to add an image as well as part of the overlay, I can by doing an image search and dragging that image to the canvas. Now remember again, this is an overlay. So as the teacher, if you're done teaching your point, you can erase this and continue moving on. So if we want to go to the eraser, click it twice, that'll open up our eraser menu. And if we click the trash can, it's just going to wipe out all of our annotations, anything we've added, and we can continue our lesson. Or if you want to save it, maybe as part of your notes, add it to whiteboard, we're going to want to use the capture button. We're going to use the area capture, which is there in the middle. And what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this section where we've added our annotations and our images. And it'll take a snapshot and put it into whiteboard for us to kind of help build out our notes. Now, when I let go, as you already know from our capture video, it's going to place it here on the canvas. Now I'm currently uh, in the select tool. You can see the green arrow in the main toolbar. This is going to let me move this around because it's kind of small. So I'm just going to drag it here to the middle. And then if I want to make this bigger, I'm going to click on it once and drag those triangles in the corner to expand it and make it bigger. Now, if you want to make it fill the whole canvas, choose the expand button, which is the fourth a row of icons there, you'll see the expand button on the far right, and then that'll expand it all the way out, which just makes it a lot easier to read. Now we can make a new page, click the toggle button again, and continue teaching. Now, if you ever want to get back to whiteboard, all you have to do is click the whiteboard button in the floating toolbar. We'll draw an arrow here to it for you. So all we have to do is click on that, and that will take us out of toggle mode and return us back to our canvas.